often hear and read the term rational egoism from objectivists. Isn't that term redundant? Is there such a thing as irrational egoism? Uh, my answer would be, in fact, yes, that is redundant. Rational egoism is redundant. There's no other kind. Irrational egoism is a self-contradiction because we achieve our self-interest through reason. But we are, have to communicate with people today. We have to do so in brief terms in which we can't present a whole philosophy every time. And we do so in a world in which the falsehoods of the issue are everywhere and taken for granted as self-evident. So if everybody believes egoism is a form of unreason, if we're going to be clear in a brief statement, we need the redundancy. In a better world, it would be harmful because it implies that there's two kinds of egoism. An adjective always implies a possible variety. A red book implies a green or a yellow. If there were only red books, you wouldn't say red book. So if you're in a long discussion and you can define egoism, then you simply say, I am for egoism. But today you have to and hope that the discussion will make your real meaning clear. And we do that on so many things out of necessity. For example, individual rights. Well, there's no other kind. Let's say fair capitalism. There is no other kind, etc. But it's a desperate attempt to be clear in a context uh, where uh, uh, communication is, is totally uh, blurred by falsehoods taken as self-evident.